And now, Tales Gets Trolled, Chapter 10, Silver's Plan and Tales Training. Seeing that you're going to hell, tell our lord I said hello. So that's how you got your powers. Pretty much. And now Emla is in the wrong hands. What? I still remember it so clearly, but enough about that. We must work to get Emler back. Don't worry. We pay our respects to Porky's family every day we can on that stone we have here. The Porky family. May it rest in peace. I couldn't become like you, having to hide my emotions. Meanwhile... Ah, uh, damn it. I still can't hit you at all. Ah, this is pointless. Sigh, you really suck at hand-to-hand -hand combat, I won't lie. And this is way more challenging than I thought it would be. To teach you hand-to-hand -hand combat. Alright, I will try to teach you some more hand-to-hand -hand combat. Tails, the reason why you're not good at hand-to-hand -hand combat is simple. You're just swinging crazy. You're not keeping your eye on your opponent. You're not reading their movements. And you're not reacting fast to their attacks. What do you think Woodstock's training was for? It was to get you ready for my training. It was to teach you how to dodge attacks. Now come on. You're right. I can do this. All right, let's try this again. Ah! Wait. Ah, really? I'm starting to get this down, Batman. Remarkable. He listens really well. All I did was explain how and he learned what he was doing wrong. I fixed it like right away. There's something special about this guy. Tails, there is something else I want to teach you that might help you in combat. What's that? Bloody Knuckles. I'm confused. What will this help me with? Bloody Knuckles is a simple way to strengthen one's fist by hitting other people's fists and also hitting hard surfaces. So I want you to punch my hand as many times as you can. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is awesome. He's still at it. <laughs> Fucking noob, baby. Oh! You see, there is no options for you to make here. You can do as I say, or continue to be hit by my fist, and I've broken harder objects than your face before. I want that wabbit. Your zombies are safe by Hindu, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Did you know that I brought someone in here a week ago? He is the most hated person by the trolls. You all call him by the name Justin Beaver. You want to know what we did to him? We cut off his penis. And we was all surprised he had one. I'm thinking if you don't do what I say, perhaps I will do the same thing to you. It's not really that hard to get what I'm saying, even for someone like you. So you must understand, there is nothing that will stop me, and you might as well join the winning side of this fight. Be careful, sir. Don't get ahead of yourself and kill him. We still need him to resurrect Eggman, and perhaps also resurrect the man in the ice. I don't bring back the dead, I just control their corpses and their memories by eating their brains. <laughs> they are my puppets, nothing else. Doesn't matter either way, you will control Eggman to do as I say, and you will do it, or I will give you more pain. I'll give you a minute with your thoughts, and we shall continue this later. Be ready. Uh... I'm gonna give Imla five minutes with his thoughts before we start up again. Endo. I want you to bring me all the weapons I have in the back. We will see which weapon will convince him to change his mind. Yes, sir. I will get right on that. Dad, if you let me take over, I'm pretty sure I can get him to do everything you say with my methods. I can get this bag bag to be our little bitch slave. If nothing else works, then you can rape him and whatever else you want. But not until I say so. He's off limits for now. Uh... Understood. As soon as you fail like we know you will, his butthole will be mine. <laughs> Meanwhile... Okay, now that we know his capabilities, and we know that his star is a big threat, we should come up with a strategy to fight it. I suggest we fight each other as a training method to create a good team comp, learn each other's fighting style to know how to use each other to fight as a team. Then after we come up with a good way to trap him and to get him back for his bad deeds. I agree that would be a good plan, but I also think we should think more ahead than that and perhaps find a landscape that's perfect to trick him into it. I don't know how yet, but this is coming out swell. I like to read when I think. 
Your idea is good, but it's not quite there yet. This plan is getting more filled, but still needs a lot of planning and work done to it. But even if we plan everything to the last detail right, we still need to execute it. And that might be hard. I know this is important and all, but I think we should be more focused on the trolls. Instead of Mario, I'm not saying we forget about what he's done, but perhaps also come up with a plan to fight the trolls. Hey guys, how's everything going? God damn it, Knuckles. Why did you have to show up and why did you bring her? Knuckles, <laughs> tell me about Sonic and everything and you guys still haven't been able to find Tails as well. I know, Amy. It's hard, but I will make sure every single person in the group of trolls will die just like Mario will. Hey, Knuckles, so what happened to your smart weed thing you was talking about? What are you talking about? Sonic. Sigh. Knuckles, can you get out of here? I got shit to do. Shit you're not good at. Oh yeah, I remember my smart weed plan. I went ahead and did it without you guys. You want to know what happened? All right, Knuckles. Oh, sigh. What happened? Hurry up with it. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, so I started smoking a lot of weed, and I came up with a plan. Okay, first things first, I got me some food, and then it came to me. Okay, first things first, I need to find one of the troll bases. Maybe the main one if I'm lucky. So first off, I needed to find out how I can find one of their bases. So I googled it, and there was my answer. They had this chat room talking about their trolling duties, and then I decided to act like one of the trolls, and they didn't know the difference between me and the rest of them people. So I acted like a newbie, and I asked where the camps were, and they showed me map locations to all the camps outside their so-called city. So I printed it all out and made copies and everything. Actually, I still keep contact with them time to time. But anyways, I then traveled to one of their bases, which wasn't that far away. So I infiltrated one of their camps that happens to be in the jungle not far from where we are now. Cause I got high. Cause I got high. Da, 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 da. I find their camp, as I said already, I think. Lol. Who the hell are you? Then you'll get the memo. The gist of it. Red faggots like you aren't allowed. Maybe this dumb looking dumb dude can get us some Twinkies. What up, T Doggies? I was in the neighborhood and I thought I would drop in and say, um, some things and details of stuff. I'm for peace, my brethren, Jiggy Dogs. Why do we fight in war and hate when we can masturbate? People that fight also get tight. You get what I'm saying? Bitches gotta stay in line. What the fuck is with this dumb retarded bitch talking about? With his homo face and shit. I say we pop a cap in his ass and try to lick the bullet holes with our mouths. For our sexual desires? Why fight when we can get high? Oh hell yeah, he's got that awesome fucking grass. I call it the Grey Grey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story, bro. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you just said. Knuckles, get to the point already. Come on, dude. What did you do? That's pretty much it. We all got high and it was sweet. You should have been there. God damned, Knuckles. Your plan didn't do anything. What do you mean? My plan was to get high and I did, lol. <laughs> I am done with you wasting my fucking time with your pointless bullshit stories and ideas. Mm, that seems a bit rude and uncalled for. Shadow, sometimes you need to stop crying, dude. I'm about to punch you in the face. Okay, man. Sorry, man. We both over the line, man, and stuff. So sorry, man. <laughs> Oh, Knuckles, if you still have the troll camp locations printed out, then give them to us. They could come in handy. Oh, sure, man. I'll go get them in a minute. Wait, why were they in the jungle? Trolling animals and stuff. <laughs> I think we should get started on our team comp and make teams to fight each other. Agreed. As long as Knuckles doesn't join in because I can't take any more of his shit. Meanwhile... So, what's your plan, Silver? Well, it's still a work in progress, but okay, I'm gonna need a computer. Our laptop is over there. All right, this will do fine. <laughs> what are you doing? A while back, I was in their base, and I put this device on the wall. My own special device I made. Oh, this is a good spot. I had it made a while back for this plan. The device isn't a bomb or anything like that. It's made to scan with these invisible sonic waves, scanning the whole place. After it scans, 
it transfers it all to this flash drive I have on me. Then when I load up the flash drive on a computer, I instantly get blueprints of the whole building. Of course, then print them out as our map. You have the first part of this plan pretty well set up, but seeing that you was in their base once before, they will probably double the guards, and it would be really hard to get in. Well, I had this plan with Elmer's smokescreen. But he's captured. I will come up with a plan. Meanwhile? It's impossible! He can't! I knew you would come around. Well, you was gonna cut off my dick. Do it, and we can get this started. Don't play games with me, or you will lose a penis. He's hitting somewhere, but I don't know where. They're coming, and there's no way we can both get out of here. And you're smarter than I am. If one of us should go down, then it should be me. I can't do what you can. It's safer this way. We can't let him get all three of us or he will get what he wants. Damn it, you're right. But I can't just leave. I guess I have no choice in the matter. I promise I will break you out, even if I have to work with Sonic to do so. Goodbye, my friend. Don't give up hope. I will be back. Bye-bye. Uh... Good. Now I must be going now. Hindu, take care of this. I have some things to do. Yes, sir. All right, get to work. Hmm, where's he going? Meanwhile... All right, Tails, you have passed my training. You no longer need my assistance. You are one step closer to finishing your training. Well, thanks, Batman. People probably never say this in their lifetimes, but you're pretty cool. Thanks, I guess. Okay, Hello Kitty, he's all yours. Oh, he's cute! <laughs> um, I am? <laughs> I joined the Defenders because I thought it would be nice! Okay, so what are you gonna teach me? You don't look like the fighting type. Well, my training isn't super impressive. It's simply a defense so you can sustain your body in battle. I'll explain it to you. Using your chakra as a shield over your body, you can reduce some of the damage your body takes in battle. You still get hurt from the attacks, just not as much as you would normally. Don't get cocky though, it only helps a little bit. As an example, the damage you take is only 20% reduced from where it would be if you weren't shielding yourself. So what you're saying is that I will take 20% less damage from attacks if I learn how to do this. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, but it's not that easy to do, but with a soul bind like you're gonna have, it will be good to know this beforehand. Sweet like nice feet. Meanwhile? You called me here. So what do you want, Gary? You sure like to waste my time. Well, sorry. I guess siblings like to do that time to time. But I need to ask you to do something. Sigh. Just tell me what you want, you got a brother. You dragging this on is getting on my nerves. Once again, I'm asking you to tell the boss about your powers. You do remember the last time you asked this stupid question, don't you? You should tell him now, damn it. I told you to shut the fuck up. Ah, my face. Yeah, I remember. I had to put that mask over my face. <sighs> Don't push your luck, or I will do it again. Yeah, I remember how you use your strings as a weapon. Yes, yes, I did. Don't forget your place, younger brother. Meanwhile? Oh, he's still awake. Hmm. Hmm. So you ran into the same roadblocks with this plan as I did? I think so. Trying to come up with a way for this plan to work without any of us dying. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get around. I almost had a good plan, but Elmer is no longer here, so... What now? I have a plan, but I'm still trying to fix the holes in it first, which isn't an easy task, you know. But your blueprints are helping me out. Yeah, with them blueprints, we should be able to pick the best route for this task. But as you know, their base should be a lot more defended now. Just give me some time. We should be able to get Elmer Fudd with little problem, thinking of using something as a distraction. But what? I could be the distraction. I do have the right power for a job like that, but it would have to be some big distraction. Meanwhile... Good, you have it down as I do. Yeah, this is kind of hard to do, though. 
Well, with the soul bind, it won't be hard to do at all. This is as far as you can go with my training, so you can start training with the next member of the Defenders. Awesome. So who do I get to train with now? This is going to be awesome. Well, we was going to have you train with Trix Rabbit next, but he refused to train you. So we are going to skip his probably waste of time training and go to the next member, Kermit. Well, I'm going to teach you the fine art of patience. Ah, uh, so gay. I'm going to explain to you my story because I want to. Unlike everyone else, I'm not doing it because I have to or because I was told to, but because I want to. Now sit down. God damn it, this training sounds like it's going to fucking suck. Have you ever been bitch slapped for lack of listening? Lack of doing what you're told? Because I'm not far from slapping you. Did you see what I just did wrong there? What? I guess I'll have to explain. I threaten you for having lack of focus. This made me look like I had less focus than you. Do you not get it? I showed you how lack of patience looks like. If you still don't get it, then I shall explain to you more. No, don't explain more. I got it. How impatient you was with your reply means you didn't get it. One that only focuses on stuff that he or she finds interesting, and the rest is not important to the person. As we both know, you could care less about this training because there isn't any flashy combat or special power training, meaning that your focus is very low because you don't find this interesting. The main cause of lack of patience. Hmm? You see, with more focus and more concentration and patience, you can notice more than you normally would. Like, for example, I've already noticed that you are daydreaming about something that has nothing to do with this. You know how I know that? Because I'm focusing on your body language. So when you focus on every detail, you see more. Whatever, I don't understand why I have to learn this useless crap. Trolls don't have hearts and all they need to do is die. Revenge, huh? Well, you can follow your hatred until you die. It's serving the rest of your friends well from what Pori told us. I mean, Shadow and even your dead friend Sonic was filled with anger. You see, anger is a double-edged sword. It takes both the people down. You don't know me or my friends. See, I threw you off your focus by pissing you off. See, when someone loses their focus, they do stupid things. Get angry. I will tell you my story, which is a bit hard for me, but here it is. My story is a bit different from the normal stories. It started with me and my friends. Our names were starting to get well known in the world we live in, so that's when it started. We had no idea what trolls were, so we didn't see it coming. We was invited to a party. A troll party. All the Muppets showed up, and we all had a pretty good time with our host. They all seemed pretty cool, but that was just to draw us in. They asked us to come play some games with them. At the time, it seemed cool, but that was just to get our trust. So me, Animal, and the rest of them played their games and had an awesome time. But like I said, it was just to get our trust so they could rip us down. But none of us understood that and they started to insult us, but we had no idea how to react to it. So they didn't get the negative response they was looking for. We was just confused, but some of the Muppets find it interesting. So we went along with it and that's when it started. We decided to do it, but we didn't understand what we was doing, so we was liking it, but we didn't get the point of it. It was all fun and games, really. Some of them took a liking to us because we was actually pretty good at it, but it dragged on, and some of us liked it more than the rest of us. The animal took a liking to it the most, and after a while, we started to get the point of the game, as we saw it and started room raiding chat rooms on Peltalk just fucking around, but then we started to challenge ourselves, finding tougher people to troll, and we realized how good at trolling we became, consumed with it. We looked for tougher victims and that's when we ran into this one guy on the internet. That was different, he said. The best challenge for a troll to troll is another troll. And that's when me and my friends turned on each other knowing that we could troll another troll. At the time, we didn't know, but that guy was a troll. And he convinced us to turn on each other. And that's when the real game began. So we all divided from each other and our goals was to troll each other. And we managed to do so, but that just made the other one angry. And we started playing dirtier and hitting each other's nerves really bad. It was a full out troll battle between us. And it started to get worse and more personal because we all knew each other so well. It's easy to troll someone you know, but none of us could admit defeat. It had dragged on, and our troll battle continued. It wasn't a fist fight kind of battle. There are other kinds of battles besides the kind you have with your fist. But anyways, it raged on, and some of the weaker-minded ones was starting to give up, but the rest of them, like me and Animal and Miss Piggy, wouldn't let up. 
And while we was challenging ourselves, we also was destroying each other. Some of them was beyond repair mentally, and some of them killed themselves. The numbers of us was getting smaller. The stronger minded ones was the last ones left, and the other ones was broken or just left and the battle raged on. Later it was just three of us, me, Animal, and Miss Piggy. The rest left, killed themselves, or just never spoke to us again. We was destroying each other, and we was afraid of losing. We couldn't handle it, and soon enough, I pushed Miss Piggy too far because she cared about me, and I used it to destroy her. You see, I broke her. She was no longer stable. She became something else. She went insane, and they had to put her away. Never saw her again after that. Oh, but the animal was too good at trolling, and he used what I did to her. And he knew I felt awful about what I did to her. And he used my insecurities against me and made me very unstable. But unlike the rest of them, I became something else. And I used patience. And I came up with a way to get animal. And I did. And he ended up no more. So after I found the person who tricked us, and I destroyed him too, I became a monster losing myself. And a new face helped me. <laughs> And in return, I work for the man who helped me. Pac-Man helped me get control of myself, and that's why I'm here. You see, there's nothing more I can explain to you. That is my story. I was a very skilled troll, and I trolled my friends and myself in the proses. And it's really easy to do such damage to yourself as well as others. But you won't understand what I'm talking about until it happens to you. You will run into a troll that can do what I do, and you won't know how to deal with it. My training is so that you can be patient for moments like that. But if you don't want to do this training, then I won't waste my time with this training, and you can train with the next person. I will not try to force you how to be patient, because that is impossible. Make your move, Tails. Yes, I want to go to the next part of my training. You'll be forced to grow up soon enough, and you will realize what I was trying to teach you was for. But hopefully you don't figure out too late. Alright, he's all yours. I can't teach him anything. Hi, I'm fucking Spyro. I'm gonna teach you how to fly like a fucking champ. No more pussy flying for you, Tails of the Pussy Flyer. I'm gonna show you how someone awesome flies. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be cool. Everything will be awesome and cool because I am around and I am the coolest and the most awesomest that there can be. Come on, Tails. We shall go outside to fly where we will ride to the ends of the earth. And what I say doesn't have to make sense. That's just how fucking awesome I am. Now our fly amends outside. I am Spyro of the fucking awesome, and you will learn how to fly awesome, but as awesome as me, the most awesome creature in the world. All right, let's fucking fly. Outside. Hey, wait up. Here we are. This is where the awesomes like me go. Where is this place? Just seems to be in the wilderness somewhere. Please, someone awesome like me can't answer non-awesome questions like that. Pori, go ahead. All right, I'll explain to you the details. Funny how many times you've probably heard that today. But anyways, we are in the Kokoa jungle. A well-known jungle. Our hideout is hidden underground deep in this huge jungle and the reason for that is it would be impossible to find something like that in such a big area like this jungle. We are in one of the Bychest Junlicus in the world and we are close enough to keep an eye on Shadow and it isn't far from the Troll City so it's the perfect spot. Very unlikely for our base to be found in such a big jungle. We have the perfect hideout and they don't know of us anyway so it's even better. Sounds awesome! Okay Spyro, so how are you gonna help me with my flying? You're so much faster than I am at flying. I'm gonna watch for a little bit, Spyro. I have time to spend. I do have a lot to report, but I'll get to that later. It's Spyro the awesome to you because I'm the shit. Okay, Tails. Out of all the creatures, you're the only one that flies like a helicopter. That style of flying isn't awesome or as good as mine. You take too much energy flying like that, and it's not nearly as good either. So in troll terms, you are a noob that's not awesome. The best way to fly is like a bird. 
and you will be able to do it pretty easy with them tails of yours. I mean, you could become awesome like me. If you stop flying like a Riri and fly like me, the most awesome fucking dragon known to man or anyone on this earth. So you're saying I would fly like a bird flapping my tails like wings, huh? Sounds like it would be a lot easier. Let's try it. Wait, didn't you have three tails before? What the hell are you talking about? I've always had two tails. I don't know where you got that idea from. That just sounds silly. How would that make any sense at all? I guess I remembered that wrong. Tails, start flapping your tails. Fly awesomely like me. How's this? You're flying like a retard and not awesome like you're doing it all wrong. Hmm, I'm not doing the flapping right, okay? Do it again, bitch. Meanwhile... Hmm... He's late. There you are. I was starting to get a little angry, waiting for you. Sorry I'm late, sir, but it's not easy looking for it. I heard you got Elmer Fodd, right? Well, I have to raise this question. Why didn't you just use him to bring back the man in the ice and skip all this trouble? Oh, the man in the ice is almost as strong as I am, and Elmer Fudd only controls the dead. I couldn't let that kind of power be controlled by anyone. He would turn on me if Fudd found out that while controlling the man in the ice. He would surely turn and try to fight us, and the man in the ice would be hard even for me to take down. Now back to what I was talking about. Did you find its location? Well, sir, it's hard. I know that. That's why I gave you this task. I knew they would hide it after finding out who I was. But I can't let anyone besides me have the power. And as soon as the man in the ice is back, he will also need to learn the words of death. So you see, I need you to find the hidden spot so he can learn the words of death as soon as he is brought back. If you haven't found it yet, maybe I will grab your neck and crush you. Sir, I'm really close to finding it. Help me search the area. Help me look for it. I already have an idea where it's at. I just need a helping hand. Please, just follow me while I search the skies. And you search the areas on the ground I can't see from the sky. All right, let's find the location to the place where the words of death are learned. Perfect. <laughs> If I stay hidden and follow behind them, I can secretly learn the words of death for myself. <laughs> Meanwhile... Hmm. What are you toads doing out here? Russell! Paige told us to help you out! It didn't go well at all. I thought I was ready for it, but I didn't have a clue what I was dealing with. They killed Luigi and almost killed me. I won't lie. I'm extremely pissed the fuck off and damn it. It's really that bad? Mm. All of me and Luigi's plans was all for nothing. Mm. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> so what's the plan, Mario? Do we return to the castle and come up with a plan there? I need all the items you toads can get me, and I will keep this ready as I can for next time. And no, we are not returning. I don't want any of this fight to be drawn to the castle. That's the last thing I want. Okay, we will get as many items as we can. Stars and everything. Hmm, you hear that? Mario is planning to get into another battle with the trolls. Well, this is good intel. Okay, go to Papa and tell him this info. I will continue to watch Mario. Yes, sir. Meanwhile... Damn it, they're awake. I guess I'll have to watch porn on the laptop later. Silver, we are still running into a problem here, though. Hmm, the farther this plan is thought about, the more walls we run into. Our plan is good. I distract them with a remote TNT bomb, and then they rush outside, and then I fight them to distract them. It sounds simple, but think of this. We must somehow keep them where you are, without some of them going back into the building while me and everyone else is trying to save FUD. And don't forget about the other problem. How are you gonna get out of there alive? Well, I think I might have an idea. When they come out to see Silver, Silver will use his powers to trap them under giant cages. Good plan, but we would need giant cages first. Well, I got that taken care of. I know a guy that would sell us some giant cages. Wait, what if only some of the trolls come out of the building? How do we get all of them outside? 
That's where we are in a roadblock. Wait, what? Oh yeah, you have no ears. Meanwhile... Dude, you almost got that shit down. I'm starting to get fucking proud of you, man. All right, you are getting the fucking badass flying down. We will finish this shit tomorrow. <laughs> you might even be almost as fucking awesome as me when this training is done. Hope you can handle that much awesome, bro. I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Oh, okay. Where'd he go? I don't know. He disappears like that all the time. Meanwhile... Hmm... It's been a while. With some of Silver's DNA I extracted from his device put in the troll base, I should easily be able to create it. Ah, uh, Sonic, I wonder what you would have thought over this. All this training and everything. I still can't believe you're dead. <laughs> hey, I was just checking. How is everything going? Uh, I'm not crying if you think that. I wasn't, but there's nothing wrong with crying. Kiramit told me everything. He's not mad at you for skipping his training. He told me you will become something more. Well, I didn't understand how his training would help me out, so I just skipped it and that's that. Me, Spyro, and Kermit became really good friends after meeting in this group. Kermit explained to me that you must open your second eyes alone. I do believe that there is something about you. I think you will... No, I believe you will defeat the trolls and stop this hate. Do they deserve to die? I don't know, but I don't think anyone deserves to die, but they must be stopped. I really don't understand why everyone believes in me so much. I'm not the big hero Sonic was. And he's gone, and I can't be like he was. I just can't. I think Sonic saw what we see. He protected you until he died. I think he knows you are capable of doing so much more than he ever could. So don't give up on yourself. You're really nice. And even if I don't believe in myself, I'm going to try my hardest because Sonic would want me to. Good. I wanted to explain to you Spyro's story. He would want me to, but I'm going to anyway. And this is relevantly simple to explain. They trolled his whole race. He told me what they did was unforgivable, and he's going to get them back for it. I don't know much about the details, but he's after revenge. That's his story. I don't need to know all of it. I don't know if Sonic was right or not about the trolls. If peace really is the answer? Sonic said villains wasn't the answer. Villains? Oh, you mean violence. I'm sorry, continue. I'm not really sure how you and your friends got violence and villains confused, but whatever, lol. I'm confused? What? You're weird. Ha <laughs> ha! Kermit was right when he said I was really gonna like you. You're something else, that's for sure. And I can see what he was talking about now. Ha 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 ha, please. You're too kind. You're gonna make me blush. Kermit was right. He is naive and sometimes a bit clueless, but he's kind-hearted, pure. That's probably why he believes in Tails. Because of Tails. I don't care attitude. He's just a kid inside still. Next morning... Hey, dude, wake the fuck up. We got to get this awesome training finish, and I need your dumb ass awake for that. Oh, sorry, man. The final part of this training shall begin. You will follow me as fast as you can, and while doing that, you will go through all these hoops that are in the air, and if you lose me, you fail, and we'll have to do it all over again, and if you hit any of the hoops, you also fail. Are you ready for that? Because if you do it, I will call you awesome. And that is fucking rare for me to call someone else besides myself awesome. You be ready to be fucking honored by such awesomeness that would make girls wet in the panties. I'm ready like hell right now. He was right, Kermit. And all he really needed was a push. He was in denial about Sonic's death and he wasn't coming to terms with it. I understand what you were saying about Tails. Well, it's good that you motivated him because he wasn't taking any of this seriously. Mm -mm. Now that he's uh, come to terms about Sonic, he will work harder to become stronger instead of taking everything like it's a game. I think Tails with this new motivation he has, he will be ready for the battles to come. And all we can really do is watch his back. Tails will be strong, but he isn't strong in the mind. 
won't be able to take insults very well at all. I tested him and I found out that he's got a small fuse, but he wasn't really built for this kind of battle. So this should be interesting how this plays out. <coughs> My only concern really is that is if he runs into a troll like me and he gets mind fucks by him, I don't think Tails is going to be ready for that kind of trolling. I did hope that I could help him with that, but I can't, so maybe Tails will avoid them kinds of people altogether. Tails' weakness is his mind. That's his biggest weakness. Well, we will be here to protect him from that stuff, so I'm not worried about it. Tails won't be fighting the trolls alone. We are all a team, and we will keep each other's backs guarded. <laughs> Tails, you did it, man. Good fucking job. Hell yeah, that was easy. Dude, say it, man. You're gonna say it? All right, man. You're fucking awesome! Yeah! Let's fucking party! I'm a badass robot! Hell yeah! Dance party! I'm going to go dance with them, Kermit! Hello Kitty and Tails, don't realize it yet, but some of the people in the Defenders are unstable and not trustworthy. Mm -mm. I hope they don't put too much trust in them, that could end up disastrous. Uh, sorry to cut the party short, but uh, Pac-Man told me that it's best for all your training to get done as soon as possible. He said that you would have to cut down on the brakes. I agree. I need to train with the rest of the Defenders as fast as I can. Who's next? Well, patience is good, but it seems I'm the only one who thinks that. Well, in any case, I do agree. The bad guys won't wait for your training to attack more helpless people. Cheeto Man awaits you inside the hideout. Okay then, Tails. Go ahead. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. Lol, Tails, you don't even know. Cheeto Man is epic. I won't lie about it, but that might be because he smoked way too much weed in his lifetime. You'll like him a lot. <laughs> It ain't easy being cheesy. Meanwhile, this training is not what I had in mind. There's too much holding back. It's just to check each other's fighting style and nothing more. No need to take this seriously. This is so much fun right now. All of us should do this more often. I know what you mean. Hey Shadow, why so serious? I got Amy to go, so no need to look cool now. She's mine. <sighs> I think we should work on team moves and combos. Ahem. My story is a bit different from the normal stories. It started with me and my friends. Our names were starting to get well known in the world we live in. So that's when it started. We had no idea what trolls were, so we didn't see it coming. We was invited to a party, outro party. All of the Muppets showed up, and we all had a pretty good time with our host. They all seemed pretty cool, but there was just a troll us in the Esther to come play some games with them. At the time, it seemed cool, but that was just to get our trust. So me and Amol and the rest of them played their games and had an awesome time. But like I said. It was just to get our trust so they could rip us down But none of us understood that And they started to insult us But we had no idea how to react to it So they didn't get the negative response they was looking for The best challenge for a troll to troll Is another troll That's when me and my friends turned on each other Troll another troll! We watched this confused, but some of the Muppets found it interesting. So we went along with it, and that's when it started. We decided to do it, but we didn't understand what.